Hi everyone, I'm Chriselle and I am the light worker and intuitive teacher behind Chriselle Can. Thank you for joining me. I've been getting the question a lot from clients in the last week about clearing energy. And to me, clearing energy is like good hygiene and good housekeeping. Um, we have this energy body and we need to make sure that we maintain the same good hygiene with our energy body. Now, what is clearing energy and why do you want to clear your energy? So everything has a vibration and has energy to it. So as we go on about our daily lives, we may not realize it, but we're picking up on those vibrations and sometimes holding those energies within our own energetic body. If you ever watch the news recently and seen what's happening in the world and walked away feeling stressed or frustrated or angry um, and had a hard time shaking that feeling, that's a great situation where you may need to clear your energy. Or if you've ever been in a densely populated area like a concert or maybe you were on the bus or just being on the crowded streets of a busy city, you may find that it leaves you feeling really drained. And that's another example of when you may want to clear your energy. If you work one-on-one -on -one with people, such as counselors, teachers, social workers, um, if you're in the medical uh, excuse me, if you're in the medical profession, if you're working with people and they're coming to you for help, you would want to clear your energy after seeing each person because you may carry that person's energy with you and it could really bring your vibration down. Um, as I go through these different options for clearing your energy, take what resonates with you and everything else leave behind. We all have our own unique experiences and what works for one person may not work for the next. So as you go through all these different options, you may even want to try each one for yourself and see which one works best for you. So the first option I want to share is smudging. And smudging is really common. Um, you may know it as burning sage or burning Palo Santo. You can use all sorts of herbs to smudge or to clear space, and different herbs have different um, intentions or purposes for when you burn it. The act of passing through smoke that's actually cleansing the energy in the space, and so um, it could be really anything that you're burning, so it could even just be incense. It's just the smoke passing through the area, whether it be your etheric body, your aura, or through your home, your office, your space. Um, it's that smoke passing through it that helps clear it. The next option is using crystals. Crystals are high vibration and carry um, different kinds of healing energy. Um, to find a crystal to best suit you, I always recommend physically going to a store and touching the crystal, being drawn to the crystal and feeling a connection with the crystal. Trying out that method will actually get you a crystal that's really tailored to what it is that you need in your life. But if you are not unable to go to a physical store, I also recommend quartz crystal or selenite crystal. They're both really great at transmuting negative energy and helping clear your clear your energy. Um, I like to use my selenite wand to swipe over my body and really easily clear, clear cords and um, release any energy that doesn't serve me. Um, you can also Google um, different stones, different crystals that will help with clearing and protecting. A lot of times when people are asking for help clearing their energy, along with it comes maybe a, a feeling of um, 
feeling unstable in some way, um, whether it be their emotions or their moods are unstable. And so along with a good clearing crystal, um, a dark crystal, so something black like tourmaline, um, obsidian, uh, there are lots of dark crystals that you could also purchase, um, but having some uh, dark crystals helps with grounding. So that would also help with um, that unstable feeling. So you want to clear and then you also want to ground. Um, so with crystals, what you can do is you could wear it on your person. Um, I like to wear crystal necklaces like this one right here. It's a rose quartz. Um, sometimes I like to keep crystals in my pocket and actually I have a clear quartz crystal from, I think it's from Temecula actually in California. And I like to keep that in my pocket sometimes. And I also have a pair of clear quartz earrings and I like to wear those. So you can wear your crystals, um, keep them in your pocket, keep them in your purse. I know one person used to keep them in their hat when I'm wearing a dress and I don't have a pocket. I sometimes stick it in my bra. Um, another option is to just keep it in the space that you're wanting to clear. Or if you're doing it for your home or for a particular room, have the crystal by the entryway. So as people come and go, it's clearing the energy. So just having the crystal in the space, um, its vibration will basically transmute the grid. Another option is prayer. So prayer doesn't have to be any um, elaborate ritual. It can be very simple. Um, personally, one that I like to do is call upon high vibration light beings like angels or archangels. So the angels, they're always there to help us and help to serve our highest good. But with them, they have to respect our free will. So it's really simple. All you have to do is invite them and ask them to help you. And it could be as simple as, angels, please help me clear this space and fill it with love and light. Or I specifically like to call on the Archangel Michael, who's known as the protector. And I, my prayer is, Archangel Michael, please help me clear any energy that no longer serves me. And then um, that's it. A prayer that I actually started doing recently was um, calling on the Ascended Master, Saint Germain, and using his violet flame of um, transmutation, transmutation to help clear my etheric body. And actually, that's a great segue into the next option, which is meditation. So I also like to do um, visualizations in my meditation to help me clear energy. And so I do like to use the violet flame of transmutation. And I just imagine myself sitting in this violet flame that's totally engulfing my body. And as it's working to um, transmute any negative energy or energy that needs to be released, um, it does its work and then the, f the flame just kind of goes, um, it dissolves into space once it's done. Another one that you could do is, um, and this is a pretty easy one, is as you shower on, the, on your whatever frequency you do, um, you can imagine that the shower is um, our drops of light that are coming through and washing away any energy that no longer serves you. Um, if you're out camping or you're backpacking and you're not showering, you can just imagine a shower of light falling on you and clearing your energy as well. It's, works just as good. If you are really drawn to physical practice, you can also just go to go wash your hands. And as you're washing your hands, you can just say the prayer to release any energy or let this water wash away any energy that no longer serves you. Um, some people um, will go to the ocean, a natural body of water, and dip themselves in the water. It's kind of like a baptism 
where the water is cleansing your energy. Another great option is breath work, where you take deep breaths and with each breath you're imagining that you are releasing all of the energy um, that no longer serves you with every exhale and breathing in fresh air with every inhale. Another great option is to um, exercise. Exercise like yoga or um, any exercise, <laughs> but yoga is really great. It's all about loosening up your body and, and promoting the flow of the energy. So sometimes when people get upset, they're like, I need to get outside or go for, or go for a walk. That is really helpful because it's basically helping them release the energy. So I went through um, a few techniques. They're all pretty simple. I like to think that um, the best ones are the practices that are easy for you to sustain, especially since it's really good to, to practice energy clearing on a frequent basis. Um, so just to recap what we've gone over, there is smudging, which is burning sage or palo santo or some sort of herb and using the smoke to clear the energy. There are crystals where we use certain crystals to clear the energy and then another crystal to help us ground. There's prayer and meditation where prayer we may call on higher beings to, um, sorry, light beings to help us clear the energy or meditation where we visualize it uh, being cleared. And then there's also breath work um, where you can do breathing exercises to help you clear your energy. And then there's also exercise because um, ex exercise helps promote the flow of the energy. So helps you exit energy and helps you bring in new energy. Um, by no means is this a comprehensive list or the end all be all list. So again, if you have any other practices that you do, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Um, I also love to hear any feedback on this video and if you found it helpful, as well as let me know if you've tried any and what you think about them. Um, again, this is Chriselle and thanks for joining me.